Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here with episode number 6 of this Let's Play, uh, Total War Rome 2 as the House of the Julia. Uh, where we left off last time, we solidified Rome's first, uh, overseas, well, not really overseas, but Rome's first province. Basically, Rome, this was historically the island of Sicily, it was Rome's first province uh, outside of the uh, mainland Italian peninsula, and it happens to be mine in this game as well. Um, we have completed Magna Graecia, um... We have all four settlements in Magna Gratia. We have a lot of trade agreements, especially with our uh, pretty friendly nations of the south, Carthage. Uh, over here, we got uh, yeah, Nova Carthago, um, Libya, Carthage's, um, Carthage's ally. Uh, sorry, not ally, subject. Um, and we have trade agreements, and those are that is making us a nice amount of money. We are making, actually, um, 875 each turn from trade. And I know some, a bunch of you commented, a couple of you commented on my last video that if there is a chance in diplomacy for um, a high, uh, you know, like if I go for a trade agreement and it's just like the success is high, I should be demanding some money uh, from that. I I should have known that. I, I, I really should have. It was, um, I do that, you know, in Rome Total War. Uh, I do that in other Total War games. I think I was just so excited to finally get a trade agreement that I didn't think about it. Um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I will uh, do that from here on out. I can promise you that. Uh, let's see if we can't grab another trade agreement while we're at it. Uh, likelihood of success. Low, low. Uh, these we already are trading with. Liguria. Uh, I might go to war with Liguria soon, so not really worth it. We basically have trade agreements with everyone that we can, um, including Veneti, which uh, I might want to attack them soon. So what we were doing at the end of last video was we were moving our armies north here. So our two main legions... Um, we are moving to the north. Uh, we are probably going to go and attack um, this uh, Liguria um, faction. I believe it's just these two settlements. And this will be our next. We can secure northern Italy. And then we have the Alps uh, protecting us here in the north. So that is our next plan. We were going to kind of use this force um, here. The, uh, this force led by uh, Salonator, which was formerly our northern defense force. We are bringing in a couple more troops to it. And we might use this as just a, just to watch the south. Like maybe we'll leave them in Pacentia. Um, just to keep an eye on what's going on down here. And as for this settlement, yes, we, we are losing public order currently. Uh, mainly because of provincial inst... Well, actually, we're neutral in public order currently. Um, we are negative overall. Uh, mainly because of provincial instability. Uh, and cultural differences, both of which are improving uh, my direction. 2.7% each turn towards Latin culture, as well as minus... Uh, well, adding uh, plus one to the provincial instability negative effect every turn. Um, and one thing I didn't know that I saw, uh, I did a little bit of research in between videos, is it actually has some interesting information over here, like province effects. I have Mount Etna um, in this province. Like, I didn't know this. Uh, Mount Etna, home of Hef uh, Hephaestus's mighty forge and prison of the monster uh, Typhon. Um, plus 5% armor for all units, all armies and fleets. And plus 10% wealth from agriculture faction wide. I didn't know that. That's why my uh, agriculture wealth is just skyrocketing. Um, it, it, we have good autumn. So we have pu plus 6 public order per turn. Uh, plus 8% morale. Oh, this is just because it's autumn right now, I guess. Um, and a big wealth from agriculture boost. And the populace is currently indifferent towards my rule. Whereas, let's see, if I click up here to Roma. Uh, the populace is inspired. Um, so we get growth and tax rate per turn. Um, we also have the yeah, tax harvesting edict on uh, Rome, which is the large, yeah, the large population provides many warm bodies to fill the ranks of the army, wealth from all sources, and recruitment capacity. And we have Mount Vesuvius, which gives us morale for all units and uh, wealth from agriculture faction wide. Alalia does not have any bonuses, although it does have inspired populace. Um, we are growing very rapidly uh, right now um, here in Alalia, and uh, unfortunately, we can't actually upgrade, add any more space onto that city. Um, but we will be able to um, eventually take Corallus, although I don't have any intention of going to war with Carthage uh, off, uh, you know, anytime soon. Um, so we have a bit of money to spend. Uh, we're making a lot each turn, uh, 38, 28. Um, I could put that towards, really quick actually, um, not event messages, sorry, uh, objectives. Uh, currently, um, yeah, reward 5,000 uh, to get up to 60 units in total. Um, and then we have the Phoenician car uh, colonies, which is our bonus. These are bonus objectives. Um, 
Oh, interesting. So we don't get a reward instantly for doing this, but it increases the reward we will receive for accomplishing the primary objective of this chapter. Now we have other... Okay, so we have a bunch of bonus objectives that I've never really explored here. So the first one is hold the entirety of the following province, Corsica, at Sardinia. I would need to go to war with Carthage to do so. Um, this one is establishing a fleet uh, for this bonus objective. Uh, we need 10 naval units. Currently only have two. Uh, naval prowess, research the following te technology, naval maneuvers. Uh, where is naval maneuvers? Uh, it is probably ship pumps, deck artillery, ship ram. It's way, it must be way up here. Um, no, it's not there. It's not here. Oh, it's literally, okay, we'll do that next. Um, just to knock out that uh, objective. Um, that should be pretty easy. And then across the Adriatic, hold at least one settlement in the following province. Illyria, uh, Macedonia, or Halas. Alright, probably Illyria is our easiest um, uh, option, especially if we go to war with Aneti, we can go take this settlement. So those are going to be things I'll be aiming towards. Um, but yeah, we should probably go for... Uh, well, we'll see actually. We should be able to get this in a few turns. Um... And we can up, what do we have coming in here? Two units, a, print, a Triarii and a print, print, uh, Principes. Um, why don't we also add in... Um, is it time to add in Ballista? It'd be kind of cool to get, right? I mean, where, where does we have... I mean, it's got to be way better than this. Range, I mean, the range is 420 uh, compared to 80. Yeah, I mean, it's a long-range weapon, obviously. It's a siege weapon. Uh, missile damage is huge. Shots per minute is a bit low. Uh, ammunition's good, melee attack, that doesn't really matter. Um, armor, health, base morale is all pretty good. Let's, let's pull in a unit of ballistas. Um, it'll, it should, it'll just be, you know, if for nothing else, it's fun to have, right? Uh, so we'll pull in two units of ballistas. They are, they're a bit expensive, but I, I think we'll be fun and worth it to bring in. Um, yeah, and then we can, I think it's, we'll pull in one unit of equites too. And this really bulk up this, uh, this force a little bit. Um, okay, so we don't really have any other money to do. Um, what is our chance of a potential rebellion? 15%. It's a bit higher. Uh, the House of Cornelia um, has four regions. And actually, let me check really quickly the comments on my last video, because I believe somebody said there's a way to see, actually, which regions, like the House of Cornelia, if they rebel, um, what they'll receive. So I'm just loading that up really quickly. And, of course, my internet doesn't want to help me out here. Um, all right, let's go into comments. And uh, yes, Bear Lover, you can find out various information, including which house of a particular region, uh, which house a particular region belongs to. Usually, an entire province is given to a house. To do this, click on the card button next to end of turn and under current money. Okay. This one, strategic overview. Um, okay, so right now we're on faction ownership. Oh, political party affil. Ah, okay. Uh, Magna Gratia. So Magna Gratia would get... Oh, that's so annoying. So if the House of Cornelia revolts, uh, they will receive all of Magna Gratia, and then the House of Junia would actually get Alalia over here. Um, I wonder why, because I took the house... I took this province with one of my men. Um, okay, I mean, it's, it would be a huge bummer to lose all of Magna Gratia, especially with how much I've invested in it. Um, if the House of Cornelia revolts, that's really frustrating. Um, this is good to know. Public order, region wealth, region growth. Okay. That's cool. Thank you for that. Um, thank you for that, fair lover. Really appreciate it. I did not know that was there. Um, okay, so this whole region down here, if the House of uh, Cornelia revolts, or secedes, they would, I would assume, receive that, that territory. Uh, like, Papiria, I don't care if the Papiria house revolts. They don't get any territory from it. Um, all right, so we might want to focus on securing loyalty next turn when we have money. Um, so let's go to the next turn and uh, see what happens here. But what am I researching currently? Tactical drills, melee attack and defense for all units, and charge bonus for all land units. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and end turn and see what happens. Carthage, yeah, we're gonna, again, we're going to see a lot of Carthage uh, ship movements, especially since we have the visibility with the uh, with the trade routes. Yeah, eventually we'll probably go for Apollonia.
Carthago. Not Nova Carthago. Veneti. Okay. A son comes of age. Great. Um, I love it. All right. Having developed the skills, young man is now ready to serve the common good. Political intrigue. A new political intrigue has developed. Uh, intrigue educated. Instigating party. House of the Julia. Oh, right. Because I, I educated my son um, before he came of age. So he, because of that, um, he gets plus two cunning. Okay. Uh, intimidate opposition. Uh, influence of opposition has decreased as well as their loyalty towards you. Uh, okay. Uh, Court Master's report. Gain some troops. Household expands. Um, Septimus Julius Dorsuo. That's nice. Uh, evading enemy agents and plus five chance of having children. Household expands. Uh, Junius Brutus. Okay, he's got the same thing. Dalmache. Dalmate. Faction destroyed. And we got civil settlement in uh, Ariminum. We got the trader in Alalia and the market settlement in Alalia. So, um, yeah. Okay, now we're in winter. And yeah, we get minus. So the wealth from agriculture uh, really varies dependent on the, uh, on the season, um, which makes sense. Uh, okay. It's actually kind of cool. Um, so we had... Uh, yeah, we had a couple of buildings finished here. So this is now, this is now us a good chunk of money. Um, 424. Okay. Let's take a look now at what's going on in politics. Risk of a secession is uh, 49%. It's big. Um, I think I would like to secure the loyalty of the House of Cornelia, although I can't. Because the party's... Okay, so the party's loyalty is already secured. Um, and it's still... Uh, yeah, it's still pretty negative. That's not good. That's not good. Um, hmm. I might need to keep my armies in the mainland right now. If this if this revolts, I'm gonna need to. I want to immediately uh, strike back on these cities. So we're gonna take out a force march because I don't want to lose morale, uh, line of sight, all that stuff. So we can go to a stance of just none. And we'll move you to the south. Come you guys, on. same thing. No stance, please. And, um... Yeah, I mean, we can keep you positioned. I guess just keep you positioned in Kacentia. Uh The public order is... Oh, that's the army, sorry. That's the city. The public order is dropping. Um... Yeah, our ships are in port. I don't... If I lose this province, though... Oh, that would be a bummer. Maybe we... I guess we can leave the ships there for the time being. Um, yeah, I have a feeling we're, we're about to get... We're about to get a revolt. 50% um, chance. Uh, and we can move this force as well. As a sort of supportive force. So we're about to get a revolt. And I want my men uh, to be in position for when we do... And we're going to... Or secession. And we can squash it when it does. Um... I mean, risk of secession, uh, all three parties, 49% um, total. Yeah. Okay. All right, not the end of the world. We can be prepared for that. So in the meantime, I am only going to upgrade buildings in my, I think, in my four provinces here that, uh, that are, like, my primary regions. Um, and we can uh, add into this army here. Let us uh, add in another unit of equites. We have, what, one, two, three, four principes and two triarii, or principes and two triarii. Um, why don't we add one more of each? And, uh, yeah, you know what? We're just really going to bulk that up. All right. That army will be stronger next turn, uh, and we can uh, prepare here um, for an eventual attack. We also, though, now have a son, um, Septimus Julius Dorsuo, 17 years old. Obviously, he only has one Gravitas. Um, skill. Uh, ops. Uh, yeah, he gets Inspire and Wealth from all sources in his local province. Um, he's not married yet. Um, we do have the ability to give him um, household objects. So we can give Loaded Dice, Morale for all units, Authority when leading an army. Um, there's the one we got last turn. Plus five to Chance of Having Children. Um... I kind of like the plus... I, I want, you know, my family tree to keep expanding. Um, you know, we have, like, an army led by Salinator, uh, and an army led by Tremilius Dolabella. You know, I want more Julius armies uh, going here. So then we can add in a... Um, 
one of these guys. Missile units, research rate, faction rot, faction wide, melee attack skill for all units during battles against Hellenic factions, sweep morale for all units, and then we can do a cunning morale for all units, sword armed units bonus, experience gain rate for infantry units. Let me just give him a, a base. I mean, his cunning is already pretty high, so why don't we actually do the? Uh, oh, come on, there we go. Experience gain for infantry units. Um. And yeah, we'll probably want to make him a general. No, we will not. Uh, we will not be suiciding. Um, in twenty, yeah, in a couple years, we can give him a secure promotion for free. Uh, and when he gets to twenty gravitas, we can um, have him seek spouse. Okay, that is good. What is this? Oh, declare heir. Well, he only has one son right now. Um, so, why don't we declare our only son heir? Yes. Now that he is heir, he's up to 11 Gravitas right off the bat. Okay. He should be gaining Gravitas fairly quickly. Um, we are have our armies in fairly good positioning. Um, I mean, we could raise a force if we really wanted to, um, and raise it with our, uh, with our son. Um, but I don't think that's necessary yet. You know what, actually? Yeah, we're gonna spend that money instead on, I guess let's upgrade this villa. We definitely don't need any more food. So we'll probably take the route here that gives, uh, yeah, gives the most wealth from livestock, uh, in the long run, which is the herding grounds. Yeah, which gives the most wealth in the long run by a pretty nice margin, uh, well, agricultural wealth. Um, so we'll get that going. Okay, uh, let's see if we get a rebellion here, or a secession. Um, it would be quickly, uh, much quicker than in the original Rome Total War, uh, to get, you know, uh, Roman versus Roman fighting. So let's see, uh, let's end turn and see what happens. Right, uh, will, I, will I see, will the whole region disappear? Will I see the armies pop up? I don't know, I've never done it in this game before. So let's see what happens. I think I would have been able to put it off and avoid it for a pretty good amount of time longer, um, if not for that event that I received uh, that, you know, just completely uh, ruined my loyalty with the other, um, with the other, you know, houses, uh, the Roman houses. So let's see what happens. 49% chance. Will it fire? Only time will tell. Um, alright, let's see. Uh, riot at the capital. A riot is starting the capital, instigated by one of your, uh, one of the other political parties. How do I react? Um, accuse in public, accuse in private, crush the riot. Let's accuse in public. I mean, I, I assume that might, like, start a uh, session, so with the chance already being high, as you can see here. Um, let's see that. Research complete. Great. High chance. Yes, I am aware. Quartermaster's report. Character traits report. Uh, Asina got foul, foul mouthed, and Salinator got swear yes. like a trooper. Um, where can I see that? Commander, oh. Admiral, foul mouthed. Minus one public order to local province. That's kind of annoying. Well, she gets two from that, and then what? Uh, Salinator got swears like a trooper. That's got to be a good one, right? The Legion's got to love that. Minus one authority, but plus five morale during offensive battles. Okay, household expands. Plus one or, uh, public order from military presence in the local province. Dolabella got that. Um, yeah, having children bonus. Military work is done in Libyum as well as farming settlements. All right. Libyum got that. And what, what does spring give us? Spring gives us a little bit of a bonus of wealth from agriculture and some growth. Um, interesting that we can't actually expand any of these settlements anymore. They are at their maximum. Um, growth rate. It's going, it's going to take a, it's going to take a while to be able to expand the Brundisium further. Uh, okay, so let's see what the, what the chance here is now. 61%. It's climbing. Um, I think I might secure loyalty from the House of the Junia for the time being, just so that I don't lose Alalia and I don't have to... I want to keep all the fighting in the south, and then if, uh, if Papyria um, breaks free, they don't have a... Uh, doesn't really matter to me. They don't have a 
region. So, um, so since they don't have a region, uh, I guess they'll just get an army somewhere. And if I can beat that army, we will uh, not have to deal with them anymore. So we'll take we'll secure loyalty from House of the Junia for the time being. Um, so only one of these two could revolt. Uh, maybe I provoke. Uh, I don't want to spend money to provoke. Not when the chance already is or is already fifty percent. If I assassinate this guy, is, will the House of Papyria disappear? Um, it only he's the only character in the House of Papyria. I mean, where's the assassin? Which one's the assassination one here? Surf Legacy, Educate, Player Error, Adopt. Uh, it's gotta be. It's this one, right? Assassinate. Um, requires two more cunning than the targets. Did any of my people do an assassination mission? He can. Decimus, Tremilius, Dolabella. Um, assassinate. Can I assassinate Papyria? Let's see. Assassination attempt. The assassination was successful. Okay. And does the House of Papyria exist anymore? Um, oh, it does. Okay, <laughs> someone else took over. I thought maybe he was the only one left. Um, Alright, House of Papyria has been taken over by this guy. Uh, whatever. Okay. Annoying, but not, you know, not the end of the world. Um, and actually, Salonator has the room for something here. Uh, we can give... Authority when leading an army. And... Yeah, let's give you the research research rate. You know what? No. Research rate's bad. How do I get rid of it? Ah, okay. Whatever. You can keep it. Um, Alright, we will research the naval maneuvers so that I can get that mission completed in three turns. And I think I want to keep my armies, yeah, nice and based uh, locally uh, and prepared to defend against a rebellion that is... 72% 72, 72 chance of, uh, of firing, so uh, I'd be surprised if it doesn't happen. Um, let's let's go ahead and see what happens when it does. And do you know what this army? Yeah, I wanna. I don't know how much how many forces they're gonna they're gonna spark up with, um, or if I even need to start my own territory. So why don't we move these armies to these you know dueling crossroads where they're well within range. They could aid each other in battle. And this force, uh, you can be on this crossroads here. Um, I don't know if where an army will appear um, if the House of Papyria uh, revolts, but in case it appears in the north, I don't want a force too far away to be able to deal with it. Um, that's the reason why I'm keeping that army close by. So uh, we do have a little bit of money left over. Um, I, I think is I don't want to hit 60 uh, units total um, until... I, uh, I, until I complete this technology, because I want to see, it says I should be able to gain more money, um, of the primary objectives of this chapter once I complete this naval, uh, prowess mission. So, I'm going to wait a, a couple turns to do that, but I can recruit one more unit in the meantime. Um, so we can recruit, what do we want in this army? Maybe let's bring in one more unit of... Cavalry. I feel like we have a nice infantry and a nice, or maybe one more unit of Velites, just spear thrower infantry. I mean, we got a lot of Principes. We got some Triarii. Let's bring in one more unit of Equites um, and end the turn and go on from here and see what happens. All right, I expect to, uh, I expect a secession here, so we'll get a secession war, um, and hopefully once a secession war happens and I and I beat the faction. Um, there isn't anything else, you know, that's that's it. Like, once a faction is beaten and eliminated, uh, they're done. And basically, once I beat, I would assume, like, all three, then I would be the one faction left. So, I imagine that's how this is going to work. Let's see what happens here. I'm worried about my economy if I lose the entirety of Magna Gratia. Secession. The House of Papyria has seceded. Okay, so not the uh, other house... Okay, one sec. Mission issued. Defeat the following army. Right, the Senate uh, secessionists. And it did actually spawn way up here in the north. Uh, if we do that, we get 500 coins and inspired endeavors, which is plus four public order in all provinces for four turns. Um, oh, it's a small... That's it. Okay, it's a small army. Troops recruited. Faction encountered. Traits gained. Taxman. Um, plus three tax rate for all armies. Uh, yeah, let's give Dolabella that uh, really quick. That's actually really... 
useful. Where is Taxman? Not there. Not there. Um, okay. So he gains Taxman. But I don't see... I don't see it here. Huh. Okay, well, we'll figure that out later. Um, yes, the House of Papyria does not appear in the other parties list now. Um, I am protected. Chance of a, against a session civil war is protected because of a recent session. I get ten turns before Cornelia can threaten uh, to take these provinces away. Okay, great. So I can actually move... Yeah, we can, we can go right after these guys. Um, and let's do that. Let's get a let's get our big force. Forgive me, but I cannot. Let's get this force up there. Uh, our Julius Fento led by our faction leader, and then this force can attack with the reinforcements. They retreated. All right, that was expected. And yeah, look at that. They're actually already they're actually already uh, gaining attrition because they don't even have any food supplies. They don't have a province. Um, Oh, God. Okay, they have really good cavalry. 60 strong unit of Praetorian cavalry. Um, whereas I just have Equites. They also have Praetorians. Really good troops, I would imagine. Um, base morale, 78. Melee attack, 69. Weapon damage, weapon damage 39. Like, my Principes, 52, 36. All right. Uh, can I put these guys in uh, Force March? Faster, yeah, we'll, we'll go. We're going to go in immediately. Yeah, these guys, they they are Senate Secessionists. They did not deserve. They may be Romans, but they will fall, and we will attack them um, with our reinforcements. Uh, strength is is massive. I mean, I got combined uh, basic almost thirty six hundred um, against their uh, seven fifty. Even though they have superior troops, I have a very clear advantage here. All right, start deployment. And uh, my reinforcements are coming from my rear, so we can uh, we can just position here in the back. Okay. Oh, okay, each ballista, this is good to know, each ballista unit comes with four ballistas. I thought maybe it would be one each. Um, like, I think in the original world it's two each. Um, but yeah, we can do this. We will take our Principes. They will form the bulk of our center line here. Um, triarii, you can be on a flank. I'll put the other Triarii from the reinforcements on the other flank. Uh, Velites, you guys can just be behind our front lines. Um, yeah, you will be on standard shot, fire at will, no skirmish mode. Equites, cavalry, be together. Two units of Roman ballistas. And my general behind and nice and safe. Okay, uh, Bowman ballistas, what options do you have? We have standard round, uh, we have flammable round and explosive round. Um, bonus versus infantry, with a negative of accuracy. Flammable round. Bonus versus buildings. Uh, negative of accuracy, reload time, cannot be used in wet weather. Standard round. Yeah, this is just a standard shot. Let's, maybe we try the explosive round. Let's see, start battle. What is their range? Um, their range is pretty good. Uh, very far out there. Not far enough to actually engage with the enemy. I, I hope I can move that. I actually didn't think about that. Like, if I... Can I move them? All right, I can move them. They just will move. Uh, they will move extremely slow. Um, we're going to wait for our reinforcements to come in, and we will join up as one combined force. Look at these guys marching in. That is a huge army. Um, gosh, it just keeps getting larger and larger. Boy, whoo! All right. Look at all of my men marching into the field of battle, ready to take... Yeah, ready to demolish these uh, treasonous secessionists. Um, all right, we will take our all of our principes, principes, all of our hastati. There's another unit of hastati. There's another. There's another. I'm not selecting the triarii intentionally. Group them together. This is our sword infantry line, and I would like everybody to form up a position. Now, how many units of Triarii do we have? We have five total. So what I'll do with that is we will have three as our left flank guards, and the other two as our right flank guards against flanking cavalry, and then we have six units of Equites. Let's go and see if we can find where the enemy forces are with you all. 
And um, we have Decimus, Vento, one general bodyguard, and Servius Salinator, another general's bodyguard. Um, yeah, we can take our Roman Ballista Force and position them behind the front lines, nice and protected. And our five units of Velites, as well, uh, additionally, behind the front lines, nice and protected. Everybody's now moving. Okay, where are the enemies? I'm going to wait for all these guys to get together, but look at this army. I have not... Look at how huge this force is. And all, all the units are rushing to get into position here. Just absolutely enormous force that I have coming into this fight. There are the tree REI. Ah, alright, we have spotted an enemy. It is a unit of plebs. Should we just go charge that with our cavalry? Uh, you know what? Hold up. I want to see the ballistas uh, once they are in position in a second now um, firing. I want to see what they are like firing. Yeah, there's the whole enemy force. The Praetorian cavalry is actually uh, charging towards me. Let's pull my cavalry out to the flank. The ballistas are almost in position. Most of my troops are basically in position. Um, yeah. All right, I mean, this is... I know these are Praetorians, but we should be able to have an advantage on them here. Ballistas. There's the ballista shots. The explosive rounds. Boom. All right, why don't you guys fire in on the plebs? Um, yeah, if the cavalry wants to go and hit my front lines, that's fine. They can hit my front lines. And we can move my cavalry in to uh, wrap around behind them. And we can take... Let's take this entire right flank of the line. And yeah, we're going to advance them out. Equites, go hit the Praetorian Cavalry, please. Yeah, my infantry did a very good job, along with all the spear throwers and everything, really taking them out. Um, good job, infantry. You guys pull out to the flank. Yeah, Praetorian Cavalry down to six. Um, yeah, and here comes... Ballistas are still firing their shots. Right, we don't want them hitting me, so let's uh, let's tell them the halt. Velites, get into a better firing position. Yeah, we're gonna start getting our Pila, Pila throws in here. Um, these guys still have not routed, even with two left. Maybe they can't route. And there we go, Pila throws all over the place. Generals, go support our frontline troops. Pila throws are doing tons of damage. The Praetorians are charging in. Um, where is our left flank? Triarii. Left flank, Triarii. Why don't you guys go in on those Praetorians? You guys, let's get in on the. We're going to move our troops in from this flank. Everybody in on the Praetorians, please. Uh, where's my cavalry group? No, not those guys, the other ones. Equites, move in. Triarii, move in. These troops, let's move you behind. Yeah, melee cav. Why don't you go and hit their, uh, their troops here. And yeah, my other troops, let's go behind and we are going to continue this enveloping movement here. Their units are steady, but, uh, and actually, yeah, their, I mean, their units are completely routing my front lines here, but we have them from behind pretty nicely. I know, I don't know why you guys are moving. You can move back. Alright, these Praetorians moved in on me. We'll engage the cavalry here. Yeah, I mean, we have them completely surrounded, basically. This unit routed. Yeah, my line was way too long. Very unnecessarily long. You can see these Praetorians are, uh... They are very good at what they do. Um, I'm actually gonna pull my general out. I don't want to risk them. Yeah, infantry, just kind of keep... I mean, it is, just a, it is just a slog of forces here in the front. Um, they are starting to waver. I mean, they won't, they won't last. I have too many men. Um, 
I mean, their, their units are clearly superior. I just have too many men. Yeah. We were just able to completely envelop them. It took me a minute. I wasn't uh, too well positioned. Um, and I'm going to just make sure my generals are not involved in this cleanup at all. I do not want to risk losing any uh, either of my generals. That would be a disaster. But all Velites, please halt your firing and move back here with the uh, ballistas that also will not be firing anymore. And we'll let my infantry and cavalry just clean up the complete rest of their uh, of their troops here. They don't. They're not. I don't want any of them escaping. Now again, these are uh, these are traitors to the cause. They do not deserve to. Uh, they do not deserve to leave this battlefield. So let's go to speed three and see if we can't catch their guys routing out. Um, are those a few guys over there? Yeah, it is. All right, let's take my uh, Equites cavalry. Go after those Praetorians. I don't know if those are the only ones left, just those two. Um, I can't see on the map where they are. Uh, what do we got going on over here? Where are you going, sir? Oh, that's dead. That's the rider's dead. That's the horse fleeing. Okay. Um, look at this. It's just a long line. This is the front line. That's where everyone fell. Very infantry-focused fights. Um, and actually, let's have some fun with these guys here. Velites. Let's see if you can't take them out with your spear throws. Yeah, it's, it's poor Praetorians. They never stood a chance. Spear throws coming in. Took one out. Come on, guys. Let's get that last one. Let's go, Velites. Take him down. There he goes. Alright, I don't see anyone else running. Um, someone told me a while ago that if I end the battle once it's like this and, and over, um, yeah, that is a decisive victory. Okay. End battle. Perfect. Yeah, those Praetorian, that Praetorian infantry, they are good. I mean, look at look at the numbers they took out. 127, 92, 97. Some of my troops took, some of my frontline troops took a ton of damage fighting them. Um, just completely outmatched. But in the end, I had too many men. All right, that army is done. Mission successful. We get inspired endeavors, which will help the public order. Uh, we captured 94. Um, we could take 709 wealth. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go ahead and enslave those captives. That's what you get for revolting, guys. And, uh, yeah, we get inspired endeavors. A faction destroyed. The Senate secessionists. Increase in rank. Salinator. Uh, nice. Okay. Um, so with that, we now have... A, we have ten turns until there's a potential, uh, further revolt. With the House of Cornelia. So, um... Or the House of Junia, so we can, therefore, expand and focus elsewhere for the time being. Um, good job, army. Uh, we can upgrade uh, Salinator. Um, yeah, we'll give him a gen the generalship one, because he is a land combat general. And we can move our legions uh, up to the north, as was originally planned, and go and uh, try to take some of these provinces in the north, so... Big fan of that. Big fan of that result. Right, you guys, yeah, you can get in Force March also. We'll get our armies up north. Um, although I would like to take these provinces with my uh, actual generals. Um, yeah, I, uh, instead of, you know, instead of taking it with... Um, I want to make sure it's a Julia, Julia province here in the north. Um, I would like to actually... Is there a way that I could switch out... A general. Like, could I, you know, retire Salinator from generalship and add, like, you know, add my son um, to be the general of this already, uh, you know, built-up army? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I will I will try to figure that out. Uh, actually, I'm going to pause for a second, and I will obviously cut this out in the video, and I'm going to look that up. <laughs> All right. Turns out that there is actually a very easy way to do this. And, and between the two forces, uh, Dolabella will stick with his. He's, he's our... Um, you know, he is our dictator. Um, yeah, so we'll keep his Salinator, Servius, uh, Volusius Salinator, Salinator, you did a great job, um, for what I asked you, uh, to do, um, which was lead an army, um, you know, lead an army for a, a, a while until I got a son, 
Uh, now I have a son who can lead an army himself and himself, and that's uh, that's exactly how I intend to use him. Um, so we're gonna turn this day, this politician's son into a uh, into a general. So um, retrain, upgrade. It said there should be. Maybe it's because I'm in Force March. I will switch out of Force March next turn and see if there's any way I, anything I can do with that. Uh, in the meantime, we have some money, so we have some building upgrades that we can do. Uh, Corsica at Sardinia, we could upgrade your fleet. Uh, sorry, <laughs> we could upgrade your port. Um, this is our war port uh, for the Mediterranean down here in Libyan. Um, so here in Corsica at Sardinia, we can focus probably not on a military wharf, um, and instead... Uh, focus on maybe a harbor, which just gives uh, merit commerce and maritime commerce a lot of money, um, which would be nice. We could do shipwrights, um, which is a sort of different kind of um, military uh, wharf sort of thing. Um, yeah. Might be worth doing, actually. Um, and then we have the fishing port, which we don't need the food. I'm going to do just the harbor here, because, you know, this is such a such a central location. Um, harbor there. Here in mainland Italy. Uh, we could upgrade our fishing port if we want to. Um, might actually convert that to a, a harbor as well. That's in the Neapolis. Um, yeah, we're going to convert that to a harbor as well. Uh, just, I want the money. Uh, I want the... the, it, the per turn income as we, you know, start to um, rise, uh, raise more armies. And here, yeah, we have the uh, Battle of uh, Samnium, which is the battle we just fought. Victory over Senate Secessionists. Legendary battle. So, that's nice. We got a little le leftover cash. Um, you, sir, are 19. I could probably upgrade you next turn. So it's 240 BC, summer. Let's end the turn and head to the next one. Yeah, Carthage moving around a lot. Sorry for not talking through this one. Kind of was quiet there for a second, but nothing really of note was happening. Uh, all right. De developmental focus. As your power increases, so does the need to develop your military capabilities and civic infrastructure, which is of greater importance to your people. Um, do I want military research rate or civil research rate? Why don't we give ourselves the martial ambition, the military research rate for four turns, and just spend four turns doing military research, and then, you know, that's fine. Uh, mil military development. Population surplus in Talia. Construction complete. Herding ground in Neapolis. Um, nice. Yeah, the, nice. Yeah, that herding ground's uh, done. So we, yeah, we're gaining a lot of money now because autumn gives us that huge bonus to wealth from agriculture. Um, so, plus, you know, we got the herding ground finished, uh, which is awesome. So we can expand. Uh, we don't need to wait for Rome at this time. The question is, where do we want to expand? We want to expand in Ariminum. Uh, which is currently a civil settlement, maybe olive press settlement. Maybe we expand here in Neapolis. Um, yeah, let's expand Neapolis. Expand city. Where is, how does this expand? Where is the animation? There it goes. This city, and it gets larger. Nice. And what do we have to build here? Well, we have our pretty normal stuff. We can do a meeting place. We can do a villa. Uh, and get another far a farm thing. We can do a pit mine. Field of Mars, which we don't really need. Um, and Consecrated Grounds, which we don't really need. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I mean, I like Pit Mine just for the, just to, you know, give us some uh, some mining income. But let's see the modifiers that we're getting right now. Uh, so Neapolis, yeah, big uh, agricultural bonuses. Um, maritime commerce, we have a little bit, but not a huge bonus. I mean... Obviously, I just think, you know, livestock, uh, agriculture is where we're making money right now. I mean, you know, meeting place is always solid. Um, I don't need the public order per turn. So I could just take, you know, wealth from local commerce. Go to chew a trader, a shop, some market. Uh, that could be pretty nice. That way it's just something different instead of just having another villa. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do pit mine. Yeah, we'll do meeting place. 
Um, we'll give this place, you know, a trader or market. So it seems like, you know, for a port town like this with trader outs coming in and out, it, 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 it makes sense. It, it should be, you know, there should be, um, there should be, you know, a place there. There should be a market. There should be a market. So let's switch back here to normal stance. And um, how do I do this? It said there should be like a switch general option. Um, I am struggling to find it though. Maybe it's here in details. Ah, replace. There it is. Yeah, we want to replace this with Septimus Julius Dorsuo. My son, Pyre. You know, we'll keep you as a cavalry unit. At your command. All right, this is now Septimus Julius Dorsuo's army. And he is going to lead it to glory, I can tell. Um, I can just feel it. Yeah, morale for landing experience gain for infantry units. And having children bonus. <laughs> nice. Um, you, sir, will lead our forces towards the settlements over here. Um, we're going to take those two first before we worry about Batavium. So my spy, why don't we lead the way with my spy? Swift and silent. Make sure we know what we're getting into. My work is done. Yeah, it looks like they only have the winds of uh, Latobius defending the city. Um, we have Genoa. Uh, heh, Genua, not Genoa. Um, it has seven garrison and four ships garrison, so definitely a, you know, full army can take this out. It'll have, uh, nine ships and seven land units. So let's move our legion in the direction of Genoa, uh, Ge not Genoa, sorry, Genoa. Here, we have our, uh, Tremilius Dolabella army. Why don't we go to Stance Nun? Move up this way. And finally, we have our force led over here by Decimus Julius Vento, my faction leader. We will move you north as well. We will be blitzing the north while we have this pause in um, potential secession war. Okay, with this money that we got, I mean, again, I don't want, I'm not going to expand in this region for the time being. I don't want to help uh, when it eventually secedes away from me. I don't want to help with that. So we will expand in Alalia. We can expand in our mainland region. Um, what can we do? We can upgrade a port. Uh, this is the aluminum port. Uh, I'm thinking here, yeah, we probably want to go. We don't again. We don't need fishing. Um, we probably just want to go harbor as well because this is kind of out of the way for a military port. It takes would take so long for ships to come up and down this coast. So we will go harbor here, and we have 2,500 left. Uh, I will build. I will save that to build up a fleet. But I want to gain before. I, I just don't want to hit the. Um, I want to wait to see what the objectives change to before I switch. Uh, so, uh, before I train up that last unit, I think I'm at, yeah, I see I'm at 59 of 60, so um, we will wait on that for a turn. Um, Decimus, or uh, sorry, Septimus Julius Torsuo is a general. Um, how much is he gaining in Gravitas per turn? Will it tell me? I'm not sure if he actually is gaining any Gravitas per turn. What, is there a way I can give him Gravitas? Flirt? The Initiator gets plus 5 Gravitas per turn. Uh, target spouse, no, okay. Do a favor. Plus one, plus five gravitas for other party member. That's pretty nice. Okay. Um, send emissary. Yeah, we don't need, we don't need gravitas for this character. Is he 20? He is 20. All right, let's give him his free promotion. That, that'll, that'll actually give him, that could give him some gravitas. Um, that gives him plus one gravitas per turn. Tax rate in local province, loyalty, and uh, minus 2% upkeep for all land units for his army. Nice. And yeah, now he has enough. We want him to seek spouse. Seek spouse. Arrange. There we go. Okay. We got Aria Scavola. All right. She is the spouse of our heir. Uh, 26 years old. Nice. And we can give her um, the chance of having children one. We can also give her, I mean, wherever, I guess local, but does she count of wherever Dorso is? I don't know. We'll see. And, um, we'll give her just a plus one cunning one. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. And she can actually secure a promotion as well. Influential woman. Um, plus three wealth from entertainment. All regions. 
plus three Garitas per turn, and plus three loyalty to the political party she belongs to. Nice. Okay. Very, very happy with that. Um, troops are in position. Let's end turn. Alright, uh, sorry for not talking during that end turn. I am actually, uh, I'm a big Yankees fan, New York Yankees fan, and so I'm actually loading up the, uh, the Yankees, um, playoff game that's starting in a few minutes against the Houston Astros in the ALCS game one. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm recording this on Wednesday, uh, October 19th. And it starts in a few minutes, so I'll probably only carry this video on for another couple minutes here. Probably another 10 minutes or so, 10 to 15 minutes, because I do want to catch that game. Go Yankees, guys. Go Yankees. Hope you don't hate me for that. Uh, okay, we get Rally Horsemen. Cavalry recruitment costs minus 25% or horsemanship. Um, plus two experience ranks for cavalry recruits in all provinces for four turns. Um, not really sure I need the cost thing right now, so we'll do cavalry training. Research complete. Yes. Okay. Naval maneuvers. Returned home. This character is returned home from military command and will engage in faction politics. Yes. Household expands. We got uh, public order, local province, and authority. Another one of those. And the chance of having children one again. Okay. So we should have achieved... Yes, we achieved this. But it, it actually didn't up uh, the reward for this. So I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, but anyway, we have the uh, speedy... Uh, military tree um, up uh, research right now uh, a little bit um, so we can do agent recruitment costs cost for all army units for recruitment and upkeep costs for all armies um, that's a ships one what else do we have here we could do ship pumps we could go all the way to the highest level and do shots per minute for all land units not siege units just all land units and battle run speed um, we could go into Siege, and we could do Boiling Oil. Um, we could do... Yeah, we could do this. Let's do... Let's do Boiling Oil. Okay. And let's take our Spy. How may I, as you let's take a look at what we got going on up here. Uh, can I sabotage Shuttlement? What does this give us? Let's try it out. We tried this last time, and she did not do it. Sabotage failed. Okay. That's a bummer. Um, but our spy, even though it failed, our spy actually increased in rank. Uh, kind of interesting. Um, and we have options here. Okay, this is the first time my spy has increased in rank. So we can do network, uh, which is authority, um, agent recruitment costs, experience for new agents, uh, lookout. Yeah, I think we want to up the cunning of my spy. Unlock steel. Steel and enemy agents, gold and ancillary. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we could also do Specialist. Which one do I want to do here? Let's do Thief. I like Thief. That'll be a fun one to try to utilize. And we can take our army here. Legio 3 uh, Fratensis. Led by my son. And let's go and... Uh, declare. Uh, actually, before I do that, let's just check the Diplomacy screen. Um, we want to see Liguria. Who are they allied with? No one. Uh, they are enemies with the slaves. No allies and no, yeah, no defensive allies. Okay. So yeah, we can go after them. Declare war. Check. We are at war. Genoa is under siege. Yeah, they have... We got a pretty good force here. Let's go ahead and assault right away. Alright, I like this. Start deployment. I like the effect, even because you know, it's the winter, there's snow, it's so well done. Uh, and we actually have siege engines now for the siege fights, which I love. So, let's get our line uh, set up. First and foremost, our front line. Our six units of Principes. <laughs> Principes. I, I, don't know, I don't know when I got in the habit of saying that. Sometime in Rome 1. 
and it just kind of stuck. Uh, cavalry can be out on the flank. General, let's have you right here positioned behind the front line. Velites and our siege engines. Okay, siege engines. We'll just try. Let's try standard round this time. And I don't want you guys on fire at will. Actually, I want to tell you to fire at. Self of tribesmen. So they're all. We're gonna go to explosive rounds because they are. They are all. Uh, Go after these axe warriors, because they are all, you know, infantry, which is what the explosive rounds get the bonus against. At the negative of accuracy, which I just saw, because we did not get a shot. Let's actually, I just want to see what the normal round looks like. Let's switch to normal round. So wait, we'll wait for that next shot to take effect. Yeah, here comes a bunch of their men landing on the shores. Do I want to go and try to intercept them at the shoreline? Maybe. What is their what is their fleet? What do they have here? These, in, these are infantrymen, spearmen? Yeah. Oh, there's the standard shot. Ooh, okay, standard shot did get a nice hit there. All right, you guys can keep firing in. Yeah, your standard shot. Um, why don't we take Why don't we take our these units and let's try to go greet them on the shoreline. Cavalry can can join. We'll break lines here. Triaria, you can be here to defend just in case they advance. And the Velites, I want you going to the shoreline as well. Let's see if we can't uh, Get a bit of a trap on these guys here at the shore as our siege engines, our ballista, keep firing in on the troops in the city. Getting nice hits in here on these uh, axe warriors defending the city center. Alright, yeah, here these troops are starting to land at the shoreline and disembark their ships. Uh, they got some missile units, but mostly just those uh, spearmen. Yeah, my men are... I didn't think about this soon enough. My men do not... I do not think my men will reach them in time. Yeah, we're not, we're not gonna reach the shore in time, unfortunately. Okay, that unit's down to 69 men now. Why don't we get the ballista on the right? Fire here on those Celtic, Celtic tri tribesmen. And you guys can be on explosive rounds. Yeah, their men are immediately moving into the city. Okay, that did not work. You guys, retreat back to your front lines. Let's see if we can't ca use our cavalry just to kind of catch uh, a unit here. I know these are spearmen, but there's only 60 of them, so it's not large. Uh, you know, 120 cav, uh, sorry, 180 cavalry against the uh, the 60 of them should be should be winnable. Although I am just moving so slow. Oh come on, they're right in front of you. Come on. All right, charge in on them. Yeah, I don't want to get embroiled in a fight. It's more so if I can if I can just get a nice shot in on some of these guys. Or a nice hit in on some of these guys and maybe get them to route. Yeah, we're gonna give a charge here. Get a nice charge bonus, did we? Well, we took out some. Yeah, we'll take them out. We'll use our cavalry a little aggressively there. Uh, and yeah, we're actually taking some missile shot. Why don't we go and we can take out those slingers. Absolutely. One unit of cavalry, you can stay and, and keep on those those men. They got another unit of Celtic tribesmen with their spears coming to defend the slingers. So why don't we pull back? And yeah, Ballista. Explosive rounds. Right in on them, please. Alright, that unit did run. And we actually didn't lose any uh, cavalry doing that. So if these slingers want to continue at me, yeah, we'll turn and we'll, we'll keep hitting them. Uh, Ballista. Keep firing your shots, please. Yeah, they're not really... Okay, there's a nice... Ooh, there's a great hit. Love that. And yeah, we're charging in on... 
One of our units has used all its ammunition. All right, Callista is starting to run out of ammunition. We have our cavalry engaging another unit of the Celtic tribesmen. Uh, why don't we get our frontline troops? We're going to start advancing in towards the city here. And we'll keep our spear throwers here so they can fire in on those Celtic tribesmen. Cavalry in the back. Yeah, we've still only lost one horse, so the cavalry is doing a great job. Um, even though we're fighting spear units here in the Celtic tribesmen. Can I take, like, these guys here and see if we can't go hit those slingers? Yeah, my infantry line is advancing. There we go, they're wavering. We're engaged with some of these slingers here now. Okay, explosive shells are doing good damage uh, from the one that has a little bit of shots left. Are they still wavering? No, they're just there. They're shaking. Keep on them. You guys keep on the slingers. Yeah. Slingers are wavering. They're wavering. They should... We should knock them out here any second. There we go. Those guys fell. Why don't you all form up down here in the port area? I don't want to just kind of keep engaging with just my uh, cavalry, so... Uh, if those guys aren't going to break, we'll pull them out here before uh, before the other unit of Celtic tribesmen uh, comes in and, and uh, connects with them. Here we go. Frontline troops are One in position. Used all its ammunition. Spear throwers should start throwing any second now once they get in the position here. Uh, those guys are in range, those slingers. Cavalry, why don't we pull you back this direction? All cavalry pull back, please. We're going to start advancing in with my infantry. There we go. My Velites are now firing in on these on the Slinger's unit and is uh, doing a heck of a lot of damage. So that is uh, that is very good. And where's my general? General, please move to behind the front lines. If these... What is this? The Slingers? All right. These Slingers want to move away from their protection. We'll charge in my cavalry on them again. That's totally fine with me. There we go. That unit broke. Got another Slinger's unit in the back there. So why don't we take three units and advance in on this side. Now we can move our Slingers and use them here in the city center instead. And actually, fourth unit come in that side as well. And now the front line here, this will be... You guys advance to there, please. Velite's behind. How is this Slinger's unit not broken yet? Equites, pull back out. Yeah, they got Celtic tribesmen guarding this side over here as well. There's some skirmishers. Now, my infantry units here will take care of those Slingers, no problem. We'll let my Velites take some of their shots in here on the Celtic tribesmen. They should do a lot of damage. Um, Pinkapes are under fire, but that's okay. They got big shields. They will defend themselves. My Velites will start returning fire any second now. Here they go. They are getting their spear throws in. Yeah, and that's doing a lot of damage. Alright, troops on this side. Keep advancing, please. Cavalry, let's advance you back into a more better position there. Yeah, what do we have here? Yeah, these slingers, they keep retreating. Uh, yeah, they're probably in, yeah, they're in skirmish mode, no doubt. Um, but yeah, our, our spear throwers are doing some good damage. Uh, and these troops, why don't you advance forward, and then they can use their Pila and do even further damage. We're just going to kind of keep sandwiching in the enemy troops here. That's the plan. Yeah, so now we're definitely in Pila range, and the Celtic tribesmen unit should take a ton of damage here. Look at all, look at them, just look at them, just melt. Between the Pila, oh, that unit, yeah, the Pila and the, uh, and the Velites in the rear. Yeah, that just absolutely just demolished them. And you can see more Pila throws coming in here. Yeah, I know. More Pila units, they keep charging in. We're going to keep throwing our Pila until our ammunition's used. Yeah. And they just, look at that, they just melt under the uh, bulk of the Pila shots. Oh, we engaged back here, I was not paying attention. Um, cavalry, 
pull back out. That was my One bad. Units has used all its ammunition. You guys, go hit those axe warriors. Principes. You principes, let's push in. Alright, why don't we get... Principes. You One principes, charge in. You guys... Go hit these men from behind. You guys go hit. And yeah, we're now starting the uh, an infantry, the infantry fights. Brave Romans to a man. Should be pretty quick. Yeah, these guys really should not stand much of a chance here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, units are starting to use all their ammo. That's fine. That's just the. Uh, these guys with some of the Pila uh, completely using it. Um, yeah, Salt of Tries men against a Principes unit. Um, should be pretty easy. Now, we don't need to take any more cavalry damage. I don't think we need them. Cavalry can just kind of pull out. We have plenty of, uh, of men here. What, these guys, just take them out. Come on. Yeah, this unit is faster than me, those Celtic skirmishers. Um, yeah, these units, I want all of them advancing. One of them, go take out the Slingers if you can. Nice. Oh, you all, go assist your men here that got a little bit sandwiched by sandwiching them yourself. The enemy yourself. Nice. General, why don't you go help these guys catch that unit over there? Cavalry, why don't you go catch that Slinger's unit over there? Right, this unit should not last much longer. We can actually reform a bit of a line here. With the Celtic Tribesman unit coming in, that's their last, uh, you know, like last legitimate force there. And yeah, cavalry will be able to catch those slingers, no problem. General, why don't you go? Okay, we actually don't need my general involved. They uh, they turned, they fought, they had to. Uh, yeah, now we've got them. Boom, boom, done. Nice battle. All right, Genoa should be ours here. Enemy army falls. Yes. Genoa's ours, and yeah, we'll just occupy because uh, I want this to still be part of my core province, uh, Dors, uh, like Dor, you know, core region. Dorsuo gained some, uh, gained a rank, which makes sense. So did his legion, um, and he is now positioned in Genoa, uh, very, very well positioned. Uh, my spy, we can go. Um, yeah, we'll take a look. This is their main force here, the Stone Crows, guarding their capital. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the upgrades for the army. Um, engineer, yeah, hmm. I mean, I think formidable fighters is just still the best one, best one to go down. And then we have uh, general details. You are a commander, sir. Um, okay, uh, very nicely done. We have a lot of funds left to use, and we have our forces um, that can be used, that can be maneuvered. Um, but I think this is a pretty good space uh, place to end the video, and we'll pick this up in the next one. Um, yeah, I, this was awesome. Uh, we had we had a civil war, we had secession, um, we had expansions to the north. Um, how many turns do we have of protection left in this secession? Um, eight turns left. Um, I love it. It's been this is I really have enjoying this game. So uh, thanks everyone for watching. You made it all the way through and you enjoyed. Please uh, you know leave a like, subscribe to my channel. It helps the helps me grow uh, on YouTube. And um, yeah, it'll be it'll be awesome to go take Midlan and then. Um, Oh, they actually have another province up here, so maybe we expand even further north and take this one in the pass uh, going forward. But uh, that's, a, that's, that's for next video to figure out. So thank you all for watching, and as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a good one.